Ball gloves to do our warm up ball handling drills, our two ball drill. The D cone is a perfect complement. We have everything you need from ball handling gloves, bump pads, shooting eggs, and cones. Go to ballhawkgloves.com. You keep first. working with these gloves until you can do that drill, until you can handle the ball the right way. You got to have a body that can take the crack you're going to get going to the basket sometimes. Ivy goes inside, Doran puts it in. Ivy has really gotten better control of this game. The best season you had thus far, primarily because, I mean, you always can shoot it. But you, you at the rim, you were much more effective. Why? Yeah, we wanted to finish there. <laughs> um, but, no, nah, speaking just to, uh, you know, what I've seen this year personally, um, you look at the top deck over there by the Kroger yeah. Sky deck, and this yeah. is just, it's just filled out every single game. So to get ourselves there, we have a lot of our young guys out here playing right now, you know, showing their growth in the sense that, you know, with Isaiah Jackson and, uh, you know, Shea, these guys get an opportunity to come out here and play big, and that's all geared. 35-27, Pistons have an eight-point lead as we start the second quarter. Great to visit with Miles. And Jade Nivey's basket is good, and it's a 10-point Detroit lead. Buddy Beheim is in. Ivy, Corey Joseph. And Ivy lets it fly again. Yeah, he, he's, he really has found um, the, the range there, and he's got, obviously gotten some strength. Ivy missed everything, lands in the hands of Jared Roden. And now Joseph gets the rebound. He's going to shoot the three, and it's off the mark. Long rebound out to Roden. And now Ivy stops. Joseph drives. Now Matherin and Roden took it. And now Ivy with a windmill. And you've got the covering. And if you, you get out there to cover him because he makes shots, now, now you really got a problem. Bagley in the paint. And Nimhart has eight. Detroit led 35-27 after a quarter right there. Just what you're talking yeah, yeah, about. I'm telling you, that's really what's going to make him hard. 19 now for Killian Hayes. He and Ivy both have 19. Matherin lost it. Ivy takes it the other way. And came over to the Pacers in February alongside George Hill. Doran got the roll. Off the wrong foot and the left hand. That's what happened with guys when they get caught in the, caught in the, the emotion of the game. I don't know what happened there with Demhart. He just sort of stumbled. Because you notice he hadn't been quite as productive in like, Yeah. Yeah. He, he's, he's, he's made the time. This Roden's having a night. Yeah, when you're that good a shooter, though, you can't let that bother you. I'm a discontinued dribbler. And Ivy down the lane. Yeah, because he read Wara coming from the weak side to try to help on the inside. Pacers 8 of 25 from three-point range. That's just 32%. Joseph in the corner for another three. When they were like three, <laughs> yeah. sometimes six, maybe eight taken in a game. So this is very different. Guarded by Matherin with help from Heal. Shot clock at six. Joseph at the feet of Ivy. He did it on the board. I knew he did it on the board. That's the guy you got to take a hard look at, I'm sure. Ivy gets inside out to Corey Joseph. Guess who? Four threes <laughs> in the second half.